Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about your USP, what makes you unique, and why the heck would I want to buy from you? So if you're in business, especially window cleaning or any service, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. It's almost seven years, almost seven years of content every single week. So go back, you have a ton of content. You can watch me uh, get old if you would like. Otherwise, it's anywhere podcasts are found. Uh, find it, listen, download. It is uh, something that is always nice to have in your ear just to keep your uh, brain on point. But, I want to jump right into today's show about USP, and I've talked about it kind of a bunch. This is almost like a revisited version, kind of an updated version, but one of the most important things you can do for your business across the board, and I'll explain what it is and what you should do, and just keep an open mind. Think of this. USP stands for Unique Selling Proposition or Unique Selling Point. What, what makes you unique? And if you've ever been online, <laughs> every, any group or Facebook or any of that stuff, you've seen people ask like, oh, well, you know, I lost this account to this guy. He's half the cost. Like, how would I make that, you know, how, how, would, I, how would I compete with that? They're, they're, okay. Let me ask you a genuine question to understand that. If you and somebody else are standing next to each other, and one guy's 50 bucks and one guy's $200 or we'll say closer numbers one guy's $100 and one guy's $200 both of you you're $200 he's $100 why would i buy you now before you answer in your head that's your unique selling point so the reason that somebody would buy from you has to be the value not the price because I always say this, and you've probably heard it a thousand times if you've been listening, but if I was to sell you something right now, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to sell it to you for a dollar, ten dollars, or a thousand dollars, and you have to pay one of those to buy this thing. I'm not telling you what it is. Your brain instantly goes to price and the cheapest because you don't know what you're getting. Now, if I told you those are the same choices, one dollar. $10 or $1,000. And I told you it was a brand new Lamborghini. Which would you pay? The value is there. You'd buy five of them at $1,000 because now you know what you're getting for the money. If you don't, and there's so many people out there who put so much emphasis on the price. They think that's what it is. You're absolutely wrong. And if you're listening to this, you can write me angry emails. But if you say the term in your head, not in my area, not with my customers, not with my, you're absolutely wrong. You're the reason holding yourself back in all of this. There is nothing on one side versus the other. That's not the, if you can convey your value, you will always win. Now, with that being said, there was a company out there, you guys might remember this guy who tried to prove a concept that you could charge as much as you wanted for window cleaning. If you created like a luxury company. And here's the thing. There is sort of a point. When people are talking about $50 difference or something, that's not a price difference. That's a value difference. If you're trying to say, okay, well, this guy's $100, this guy's $120, this guy's $150, and I'm $4,000, you're so far beyond that you have to prove the value of the difference. And if you are $4,000, the other guy's $100, you have 3,900 times more value you have to convey than this. That's not right. 390 times. I'm bad at the maths. But... If that's the case, 39 times, <laughs> Jeez, please. if that's the case, and you can make that happen, people will pay that. But if you can't, then 
you shouldn't be that price. And this is the same reason why you can't have a Lamborghini dealer in, you know, a rural town with trailers. Because you're like, okay, well, they're not the people I'm talking to when I'm selling a Lamborghini because it costs more than maybe they're able to buy. Not just is it more value, but it is on a whole other spectrum. That's the reason why they're not there. You have to figure out the, the you, right? And I ask this to people because people complain all the time online. And uh, there's so many people who don't listen. Not that I know anything more than you or anybody. But just to kind of drop these little earworms in there and kind of let you think about it. But people are always on there. And they're like, oh, man. You know, this guy came in at, you know, half my price. He doesn't have insurance. Like, how am I supposed to compete? They're going to drive me out of business. Okay, let me say this. You got him and you. Why would I buy? Why would I hire from you? If you just go, yeah, right? Uh, what? If you can't tell me why, how are you telling the customer why? You have to tell the customer why to choose you. Now, the unique selling proposition, the main word is unique. Every time I ask this, by the way, if you're watching, please, I want to have a conversation. By the way, jump on Facebook, talk about WCR Nation, share the links. Uh, anything helps the show, obviously. I've been doing this a very long time and it helps me just get to be able to talk a bit more. But if you're on YouTube, comment or start a thread in the pro group. What makes you unique? You know, window cleaning, WCR Nation uh, was asking the question. Try to get people's understanding of it. And I'm telling you, the things that people think is unique, they either don't know what the word means or they just somehow are delirious to what they are up against. There's so many times that people are like, well, we do great work. Oh, it's, you know, if you call me, you know, I'm going to do great work and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to. Okay. Do you think any other company does great work? Now, as devil's advocate, if you say, yeah, well, of course, you know, they, they do good work too. That's not unique. If you say, well, we, you know, we are insured. Do, do you think anybody else is insured? Well, yeah, then that's not unique. Understand what's unique about you. Now, you can take a plethora of things together makes you unique, right? We're the most guaranteed company in the area. We have a seven day rain guarantee. We Guarantee against Mother Nature. I got a 100% satisfaction guarantee. You don't pay a dime unless you're happy. We have this guarantee and this guarantee. You put all these things that other people may have, but as a whole, it makes you unique because you have it all. I'll tell you an interesting story. It's a little, little off, but I find this very, very interesting. I love marketing. I love um, the ideas and concepts in, in the marketing, sales, and all that because... It's very um, subliminal. It's very interesting. But one of the things that had come out is if I said to you, there's a coffee. I want you to try this. It's Mountain Grown. It's Mountain Grown coffee. You'd be like, oh, that's Folgers. Right? The reason they say that is so that you associate that with their company. But coffee beans are only grow in higher elevations. It only grows in mountains. Every brand is the same. But they're the ones that say it. Okay? Another thing, if you ever watched Mad Men, they had something, and this is back when cigar cigarettes were, finally they were figuring out they were bad for you, and, and, and they were talking to kind of one of the things, and explain your process, and he goes, this is what we do. We cut it, you know, we dry it, then we toast it, then we put it in, and he goes, okay, so your cigarette is toasted. He goes, well, yeah, but everybody's is. And he says, well, yes, everybody's is, but everybody's cigarette is poison. Yours is toasted. Now, even if you bring the things up and it's in that plethora, you can make yourself unique by not having that uniqueness. But there's levels. 
And I always say like the why would somebody hire you has to be there, but you have to understand the industry. What we do is a luxury. It's a luxury service. There's people that will always argue me this fact. No, I didn't need, no, it's a little old lady who needs your windows clean because all she can do is look out. You're mistaking needs for wants. The little old lady did not get her windows cleaned, would not ruin her life. It would not end her life. She would not die because of it. She may not be as happy. Luxury, right? Understand that we are a luxury business. The end result was window cleaning, but that's not what people are buying. I've said this a bunch of times too. It's not about window cleaning. It's about the experience. The experience. It's the reason people pay $1,000 for a haircut if you go to Hollywood. You're like, what? This is like $21. Now, I know before you send me emails saying, yeah, your hair does look like a $21 haircut. Just know, <laughs> I know this, but I'm not paying a thousand bucks. Why do they do that? Well, because you go to Stefan, who, you know, is the, the guy and it's this whole thing. And there's, it's the experience that makes people want to do that. Now, you can't have a thousand dollar haircut again in any city because the value cannot convey to somebody. But they exist. They exist. Understanding our industry understands, uh, allows you to understand how you tell people about your industry or your service or what you offer or what makes you unique or what. Understand we're a luxury and that's what we are. I want you to know that when you get your windows cleaned, it is an experience if you hire us. Not only if you're new to window cleaning, maybe you've never had your windows cleaned. I want you to know that not only is everything guaranteed, because they hire us because they tried to clean their own windows and they left streaks. They look terrible. They look worse in the sun than they did before I even touched them. How many times have you heard that? Absolutely. Well, guess what? I'm listening to the th reasons you're hiring somebody. And I'm giving you every reason to calm that. If somebody comes to you and they go, well, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know you guys, you know, and I just, uh, you know, I, I don't know, you know, I'm going to hire you for gutter cleaning. But how do I know that the gutters are clean? You know, that's what I'm really worried about. It's like, I can't get up there. Blah, blah. If somebody says that to you, you don't just say, well, yeah, of course, we're going to clean the gutters. You could trust us. Nope, don't know you, don't trust you. But if I said, you know what, when we're up there, we'll go ahead and take pictures. I'll take just, you know, five, ten pictures and send them to you so you can see everything up there. You don't have to get up there. That instantly takes somebody's concern. They got an answer. I cannot be concerned about that because I have the answer. I have my guarantee. So the reason somebody comes to you, the industry itself, the, 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 all of that, you have to know why they're coming to you. Because if you do, then you can find out what makes you unique and why somebody buys from you. If you just think these are people who need your service, you're not a luxury, and they just want the cheapest price, then you've already convinced yourself that you have to be the cheapest, and now you're going to race to the bottom. You're all trying to get to be the cheapest. Don't get it. I don't know why you would do that. You're not Walmart. You can't. I had somebody say this one time, which absolutely is mind-boggling, but they said that they want to be the cheapest because they want to have more clients than the other guy. It's the, the same idea that Walmart does. Walmart sells items. They have giant stores so they can have lots of people. If they have, you know, 200 uh, orders or, or, or checkouts in an hour, they can have smaller margins because they sell so many more things. You are selling your time. You do not have a bulk price. Your time is the same. If you're like, well, I could do 10 jobs in a day and the other guy's just doing five, I could still make more. What? You're going to work twice as hard? For, that doesn't make sense. It's an hour. You're trading an hour of your life or your guy's life or your tax for money. There is no, well, I should be cheap. There's, that's not the idea. The idea is business is business. Understanding the industry understands, lets you understand why people are hiring you. It's an interesting concept to kind of understand because people so many times they say, well, what makes you unique? And they throw stuff out and it's like, you didn't think about that. Oh yeah, 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 I thought about that. No, no, you just popped into your head and said it, didn't really say it. So 
The shameless plug of the day. I'm going to get off topic for a second. I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what I do. And it's how I make my money for my hair gel or name brand band-aids or, you know, sunscreen or whatever people are telling me I'm going to buy with their money. And it costs you nothing extra to have me be your rep. So you've probably heard me say it a couple times and you're probably annoyed with me saying it. And I'm going to keep saying it. It's a shameless plug. I have to. Uh, my number is 862-312-2026. Please let me put your orders in. Uh, if you want to know the process, all you have to do in your checkout screen, instead of hitting the checkout button, hit save this cart and text me. Be like, yo, Jersey, it's in the cart. I run everything for you, make it super easy and even better. If you want something super easy, I just, I could, I've talked to people up on, you know, high rises and ladders and roofs and all you have to do is text me or call me and be like, hey, I need this, this and this. Cool, I'll do all that. You don't have to go shop. You don't have to put it together. If you do, save it, and I can do that that way too. Really, it costs you nothing extra. I want to be able to help you, and um, it genuinely means a lot to me. I'm glad a lot of you get stuff out of the podcast or just like to kind of nerd out with me, uh, and I love the fact that a lot of you go out of your way to let me put the orders in, so thank you for that. Um, and if you haven't yet, uh, get a subscription to the AWC Magazine. By the way, the new version is here. It's completely redone on the inside. Uh, everything in here is window cleaning. It's phenomenal. Just go to awcmag.com to get your subscription. It's like 69 bucks. Do that. Uh, every um, month comes to your door and it comes with stickers. And uh, yeah, there's your... Uh, there's your stickers. This last sheet. Uh, anyway, go do that. Uh, shameless plug is totally done. Uh, please. Thank you, by the way. So, again, let me ask you, and I hope your idea is changing a little bit throughout this, but why would I hire you? Why would I hire you? And if you came to me and said, well, we're the cheapest, that's your thing. You've already... None of these concepts make any sense to you because you're just the cheap guy. You know, you're the dollar general. You're the 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 cheap option, which is never the best option when it comes to services, especially. You're just racing on the bottom. The guy that's the cheapest probably doesn't have the proper insurance. They don't really have a strong company because they can't advertise. They don't make any money. And they're probably going to do crap work because they don't have enough money to stay there and do it as long as they need to. That's where my mind tells you. That's where everybody's mind tells them. So why would someone hire you? By the way, in the comments, tell me you're USP. I want to know. But what's your why? That's the big thing. It's coming together to figure out what the why is. That's your answer. I like the concept too, that you need to be the absolute, you would be stupid if you didn't hire this company. I love the fact that there are companies out there that when you look at every piece to the puzzle, they're the only ones that make any sense. We're not talking price. I want to be the guy, while I create content as much as I do and talk to 100 window cleaners a day and everything that I do, I want to help people genuinely. But I want somebody that if I help them, I want to somehow show maybe that I have a little bit of knowledge or something along those lines. So when you look at it, I want you, I want to make it so easy that when you look at it, buying from me versus buying from the site or whatever. You're like, ah, it's absolutely easy. I'm going to like help this dude out. I'm going to throw him a bone. I'm going to give him a high five, right? I want all of that to be, of course, I use Jersey. Like if I got questions, I'm going to call Jersey. Like if I need to figure pricing or double check this or do that, I'm going to call Jersey. Who else would I call? Not Steve-o. <laughs> uh, no, but right, I want to be that. I want to be the everything, the knowledge, the all of that. When you get something in your life, there is a top tier or a particular product you really, really think is awesome. I'm going to go with zero. 
I love Zero. I love all their stuff. By far the best system out there, in my opinion. And the Zero Max is my favorite system. Now, with all that being said, that system to me is by far the easiest choice to go Zero. If you're looking at all the brands that we sell, and we sell them all, they're all good. They all have great brands to work with. But when you look at all of them, warranty, components, reliability, all of the things. People go, well, why would I buy anything else? What's, what's the, there, there is no reason to buy this other system that costs more with, you know, not as great components. Again, not that it's bad, side by side, we'll say. You want it to be absolutely an easy choice. The same with you. I want people to look at your company and go, hey, here's five window cleaning companies. There's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one offers this, 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 this. I get all this stuff. They're absolutely all the reviews. Everything is so, why would I hire those other guys? Like, well, they're cheaper. Yeah, but why would I want to pay, why would I pay less money? I'm not getting any of this other stuff. That's where you don't think about the money. You think about what you're getting. If you offer so much, or such a good value, or there's the reason, the uniqueness. If I hire you, I'm not getting that with anybody else. It's a dumb choice to make anything else but you. That's what you're looking for. If you have to explain it to somebody and they go, mm, yeah, yeah, I guess I could see that. You've, you've, you've done yourself a disservice. If you've done it that way, the problem is, is that you haven't given enough value to put yourself over the top. If you say, well, they hire me because I do good work. Okay, well, yeah, no, you just told me something. That's like saying, well, I, I'm gonna clean your windows. Yeah, everybody's gonna clean my windows. They're window cleaning companies. Well, we're gonna do better. Yeah, under a microscope, maybe, but they're gonna clean the windows because if they're not, I'm not happy, I'm not paying. Like, that's the idea. You have to erase that part. It's like saying, well, you know, we won't steal your TV while we're there. Okay, like no one would steal my TV when we're there. You can't have those type of things that doesn't make you unique. So don't bring it up. The same reason you don't tell somebody, hey, we're not gonna do drugs in your house. N nobody says that because it's obviously known why tell somebody you're going to clean their windows better? What? That's not a thing. Nobody cares if they're 100% versus 99%. No one's looking at the glass like you. They want a clean window. If they see something on the window like a streak or smear, you didn't do a good job. But if they don't see that, it's perfect. Right? Just don't focus on that part. You want them to have the choice made for them. If somebody makes a decision, it's right, right? So say, explain, if you've ever bought anything from me, I wanna tell you all of the benefits to everything and I'm gonna let you make your own decision. Unless you're like, hey, which one of these two would you choose? I'll tell you, absolutely. I'm always gonna never sugarcoat in anything. But I will tell you my feelings, but I'm gonna tell you the information and let you make the choice. I know the choice you're going to make because it is the right choice with gear a lot of times. Sometimes people do ask me the questions I tell them and they go, eh, I'm going to do this. Cool. I don't care. You ask my opinion and you don't have to take it. My opinion's mine. It doesn't mean it has to be your fact, right? Let a customer convince themselves. And the reason and the way you do that is by putting all of the information out there again. As a customer, this guy offers me all of this stuff. This customer just cleans my windows. It's stupid. Why would I go anywhere? He's convinced them, he or she has convinced themselves that's the right choice. Another way you can do that is by adding value to the company, right? Going out and posting some things in some Facebook groups. Not spam, not sales, not anything. Just value. Because now I say, all oh, this stuff they offer, this guy is always on here helping. I've seen him talk a bunch of times. Why would I hire anybody else? This guy knows what he's doing. 
even though you have not taken a test in window cleaning, the next guy has it. They think you're the best, the smartest, the most offer, the best option. They've convinced themselves. Every decision you've ever done in your life, you've done because you decided it was the best thing to do. Now, you may have been proven wrong afterwards, right? Um, sometimes in hindsight, we figure out we did the wrong thing. But the reason you did it in the first place was because you knew it was right. At least you thought it was. You will always be right because you're the one making your own decisions. No one has ever been like, oh, I should go with these guys. But man, it's the wrong choice. This is not the right choice. I'll go with them. No one. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. So if they can convince themselves and they convince themselves by what you've offered, it's a sealed deal. They're done. They're going to hire you because it's the right choice in there and that's what you have to do. Make it so dumb to hire anybody else because you offer all of these things. But how do you convey that, right? In, in the message and the unique part of it, now you can do this for your website. You can do actual high quality videos with like a gimbal smooth watching so they can get the feel, they get the emotion of it, they can feel the experience, they can get that, they can understand that, right? People have five senses. You could tell them something, but that doesn't hit any of their senses. Their senses can be done. Their senses have to kind of trigger something with them too. So taking all of those pieces, putting it all together, connecting the puzzle and putting it in like that is the absolute best thing you can do. Let them be the convincing factor to themselves. But the number one thing that you can do as just a great life lesson is have the confidence. If I said, that guy's a hundred bucks, you're 200 bucks, why would they hire you? And you go, I don't know. And you can't be confident in the decision. There's absolutely no way you're going to be convincing anybody else. You're not. You have to be confident. If you're not confident in yourself as being the best choice, fix that. What are you doing? How are you in business? You don't even think you're the best choice. If you're not the best choice, make some changes. Make some big changes. But the confidence is what rubs off. Your confidence makes somebody else confident. And this is why we run through USP all the time. This is why we beat this into your head. This is why I say, think of this and build this and make this and create an elevator pitch and find your avatar and all this. People go, well, it's so much work. What? I could just tell you, no. Because you need to be convinced of the fact you're the best. Because in order for you to tell somebody you're the best value and to convey the message that it would be ridiculous to pay for anybody else to do services other than you is your confidence in yourself. Well, I'm an introvert. I don't. Yeah, okay. You also created a company. You also didn't know how to window clean someday that you paid to clean somebody's windows. Like, okay, but deal with that. Every person has their own struggles. Everyone. Say, hey, man, everybody loves this guy. He's so popular, man. His business is great. He's, okay, what pressures are he under that you're not? Now he's he's on everybody's radar. He's He cannot fail. Well, I'm kind of introvert. Okay, talk to people. Figure it out. Eye contact is confidence. Knowing your facts is confidence. If you said to me, we're having a conversation, and you said, yeah, clouds in the sky, yeah, they're cotton candy. I am 100% confident, which think about in life, how many times are you really 100% confident? Meaning there is 0% chance you're not right. In that case, it is. It would be really, really easy for me to talk about that because I'm absolutely confident. Well, they're not. This is what they are. This is why it is. This is why it rains. Let's talk about it. Confidence portrays to others. Confidence in yourself will portray to others. So once you find what makes you unique, you decide you're the best choice. You know you're the best choice. If you don't know that you're the best choice, make it so. Find out what will make you the best choice. And now it's so easy to tell everybody else about it. I could tell everybody else why I'm the best person to buy from. 
why the best company to hire for window cleaning? Why all of those things? Because I'm confident in that. I'm confident in that decision because if I wasn't, I would add things or make things or introduce things or do stuff to make it that way. Why would I ever want to be subpar? Why would you ever want to be subpar? Why are you competing on price? I mean, how many times you guys on Facebook Pro, there's somebody in there, I won't mention names. He brags about his pricing. It is such garbage. Oh, I landed another nursing home. Neat, bro. You're half the price of anybody else. What are you doing? Like, how are you running a bit? Oh, I'm making this. Why? Because you have nothing else to value but price. There's no reason anybody would hire you. You're cheapest. That, that's not, don't brag about that. That doesn't make any sense, bro. Bro. Bra. Anyway, that's your show. I'm off my high horse for today. Just want to say genuinely thank you for listening and watching. Please do talk about WCR Nation. Put it out there. If you do listen to it, leave a review. Because why not? Helps me get my message out there and it would just do me a solid. Also, shameless plug number two, I'm a rep for window cleaner. It's one of the main slash only ways I make money and live on this planet. So if you want me to, you know, be able to afford bottled water at times, uh, let me put your orders in. Costs you nothing extra and it does me a genuine solid. I love putting orders in. It's never a pain in my butt and it's never a something that I don't have time for. So please let me know. 862-312-2026 and get a subscription. American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's absolutely amazing. Redesigns here. I want to be able to have every window cleaner getting that. So please do go to awcmag.com to get a subscription. And yeah, until next week, please figure out your USP. Really think about it. It's a big, big choice. It has to be unique and it has to be enough value to bring you to the top. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.